Good morning and welcome to Business Profile on Lifestyles. I'm Charlene Sloan and today we are talking with three amazing ladies who are here to talk about youth empowerment. Good morning ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. First just give us a quick introduction. I am Jennifer Smith. I'm the Executive Director of the Paxton Trust. We're a nonprofit that serves children in need in Loudoun County. Great. My name is Nicole Gustafson. I'm the owner of Inform Fitness. We're a private studio. We specialize only in slow motion, high intensity strength training. Wow. Our entire focus is on muscular strength. Great, okay. And I'm Danielle Rankin. I'm the founder of 12 Great Dates. Um, with our daughters that is launching now in 2018. Okay, great. So it's just a really diverse group. So how did you guys all get together and what is the, your goal and your focus? Well, uh, the Paxton Trust tries to address the children in need in Loudoun, as I said, and there is an absolute mental health crisis. And Danielle had this wonderful idea of trying to empower teenage girls. It's a tough age, we all know that. Mm -hmm. And Nicole has had her own journey with that and knew how to help us do yeah, that. Yeah, well, tell, tell us about your, each of your journeys and, and how you arrived at this point and wanted to work on this great issue. Well, first I wanna say that um, I have had a personal backstory to this. My daughter, right after she turned uh, 14, uh, attempted suicide. Mm. And we went through a year and a half with two other suicide attempts, hospitalizations, treatment centers, and a lot. And through it all, I came to realize that I am not in the minority here in Loudoun County. I almost felt like I was in the majority because every time my daughter would tell her story or I would tell our family story, women, men, children would reach out and go, me too, I'm experiencing this too, I struggle with that too. And a lot of mothers were coming to me going, how did you get help, how, how are you doing this? Sure. And so I felt called because my daughter is doing very well now, we've come a long way oh, that's great. to sort of share what worked. Mm -hmm. um, and what I feel is you know, an option uh, that women and any favorite adult can do with their child. Sure, yeah, it's hard to hear that it is such a widespread problem. And you, I think people mm -hmm. are, they do a good job of hiding it. And so it's hard to know just how big the problem is, but it's so fantastic that you've taken steps to combat it and that she's doing well now. Mm -hmm. well, tell us a little bit about your story. Okay, um, well, first, Inform fit Fitness, our focus is entirely on muscular strength. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because we believe that muscular strength is the cornerstone um, to both your metabolic health um, as well as your physical fitness. But what is true as well is that your muscular strength has a direct correlation as well to your cognitive health, your sure. mental empowerment, and your self-esteem. Um, my personal story is that, you know, I, like many young women, um, related my self-esteem to what I saw in the mirror. Um, for me, it was very much about the aesthetics. Mm -hmm. And through my own personal need for physical strength training, I found and experienced firsthand the mental empowerment that came uh, with my own physical strength. And um, the, you know, the focus for me being on, as I wear across my chest, um, <laughs> you know, focusing on my strong and not my skinny. And it was actually through that personal experience that I truly gained to realize what self-esteem really meant mm -hmm. and how both myself, my peers, and young women build self-esteem. They build self-esteem by doing esteemable things. Mm -hmm. Taking care of ourselves, our mental, our physical, um, and putting our health above aesthetics sure. um, is, is, is huge. It's a huge message for us to be taking care of ourselves. Oh, right, exactly. And that has a domino effect in positive decisions that we make for ourselves as young women. Um, and really, you know, the, um, how, how we um, go about our priorities. Right. Yeah. So how do you guys, it sounds like you're kind of three branches of kind of attacking the same problem. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating. How, did, how does it all come together with 12 great dates? So first of all, I want to say, you know, we have known each other through just community events off and on mm -hmm. throughout the years. Um, but we were fortunate enough to be handpicked by yet another great lady to go on a retreat together where we really got to know each mm -hmm. other. And in getting to know each other over this weekend and sharing our stories, we came to realize that, 
you know, all of us in very different ways could relate to the overall message mm -hmm. of empowering our younger people through going back to just face-to-face, eye-level communication sure. and mm -hmm. talking. Um, so how it all comes together is I had this great idea of, and I had this personal experience and two years of community experience, and um, but I did not want to start my own nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And Jennifer had a nonprofit that she's the executive director of that focuses on the health and wellness of the children in our county. And in talking to Nicole, not only does she have her own personal backstory that related, but she also has two nine-year-old twin daughters mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that will be coming up through the ranks right, right. and um, could benefit from some of this. So, you know, I basically started with these 12 date ideas um, that really focus on communication with very open-ended but facilitated questions. So, for example, our first event, which is on March 21st, that will be held at um, Lightfoot, is it's called Dating 101. And so um, we're going to do some fun things for the girls. Mm -hmm. So um, Christina Boyeri is donating a limousine, and we're going to teach girls how to get in and out without oh, showing all of your sure. stuff. <laughs> um, we're also going to show them what a plated dinner looks like and what fork. But we're also going to ask open-ended questions where the girls will talk to their favorite adult and get the answers between themselves. So questions like, who pays for the date? Mm -hmm. If you go on a date with a boy, who pays for that? Who drives? If you're not driving, who drives? And do they pick you up? Do they walk you in? Like, ask these questions so that as adults, we kind of understand where they're coming from and what their mm -hmm. thoughts are. And on the same hand, we can sort of impart our knowledge and what we think and have that communication. No one officially will be standing at the, uh, the top of the room answering these. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. But the other part is, we all know teenagers say all the time, you know, everybody does that. Everybody says that, Mom. Well, this will be a great way for you to hear. What is everybody saying? What right. are all the other girls saying? Because these girls will register individually. So you're really going to get like a slice sample of people in Loudoun County. Mm -hmm. So when you do hear everybody saying, no, boys pay, and you're like, no way. My mm -hmm. girl's going to pay her own way. You can understand why she's telling you that. Right, right. And then it just opens those doors to hope further communication in your own home over the next days and weeks as these topics come up again and again. Yeah, it sounds great. And it sounds like a, a fun way to, you know, educate both sides. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Great. Well, how can people find out more about this fantastic event and maybe donate? Do you have a website or a phone number? Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, the website is just 12greatdates.com. Okay. It's very simple to remember. And on there will be links to the events where you can register for the event. It is very limited. There's mm -hmm. only 12 girls at each event, so we can really kind of have some fun together. Um, and then, yes, you can donate either on our website. We'll have a link to the Paxton Trust website mm -hmm. where you can donate. Um, or we'll have an address if you want to mail a check or speak to me directly about sponsorship. We do have some um, date level sponsorships left available. Great. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in and talking with us today. Thank you. And for tackling this very important issue. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching us on Business Profile on Lifestyles.